Hello everyone, welcome to a new video in our VM series. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, get a DNS name for your uh, virtual machine so that you can RDP to the D DNS name but still use a dynamically IP address, you know, because we have like two uh, kinds of IP addresses, static public IP addresses and dynamically public IP addresses. The benefit of dynamically public IP addresses is that it's cheaper, but the downside is it changes. So if you like try to RDP to that IP address like this week, maybe next week, it won't be the same. But luckily uh, Azure has a great option that allows us to um, get a DNS host name for our virtual machine, uh, for the, no, actually a DNS host name for the uh, public IP address of our virtual machine. And that IP address can be static or dynamic, it doesn't matter because it will bind uh, our request to that DNS uh, host name and that will again, uh, Azure will figure out which VM belongs uh, to that uh, DNS host name. So let's start. First, we're going to create a, a new virtual machine. Then I'm going to pause the video a little bit and then I'm going to show you how you can configure that. Do be aware, it could be a little bit of latency when you configure a DNS host name. So don't expect it to work uh, uh, directly. Maybe it will direct, it'll work directly, but it depends on your location, etc. Well, let's start. Go to the portal of Azure, virtual machines, click on add. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to choose my RG demo resource group. Give it the name, my great VM. Issue is say that's enough. I'm going to choose Windows 10. Next thing, I need to choose a, a size that is allowed by Windows 10. I'm going to give it, I need a username. That's that. Let's see if that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Click on next. Next networking. I think. Yes. It's going to all be the same. Kind of love the RDP port for now. In a different video, I showed you. I showed you how you could uh, also configure a Bastion server. That's maybe the best approach if you're if the, if you do have the budget for that because um, yeah, it's a little bit secure than just opening the RDP port. Yeah, for everybody in the whole wide world. This DNS hosting name helps a little bit, but of course it's not the most secure option. I'm gonna pause the video for now until the VM is created. Well, finally, it's finished. I managed to watch three to, to, till four uh, Seinfeld clips on YouTube in the meantime. So <laughs> if you have uh, also, if you want some IDs to, uh, instead of waiting. Well, let's go to the resource. Well, here's our typical VM, it's created. And if you go to the right, you see uh, configure DNS, DNS name. This will take us to our public IP address. As you see, it's a dynamic IP address. We're gonna give it a name. Uh, my super VM 2023. I'm just doing something. Let's hope it's not already taken. Let's save it. The full name of the uh, of the DNS name will be my super VM 2232 and dot dot azure dot com. So be aware of that. Well next thing we're gonna start whoop I must do it uh, remote desktop connection. Well change this part Uh, no, I did something wrong. Excuse me. My super VM two two three two dot u is USA dot cloud app dot Azure. Well, let's connect. I think I had something like demo. Well, well, well. Let's check. Well, it worked directly. So uh, that's a good thing. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and watch my upcoming videos and have a nice day.